Caroline over here. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the victory. I'm curious, what are the emotions now uh, that you got your second straight fight back at, here in the UFC? Thank you very much. Uh, I am very, very happy because the uh, last few years was very t hard for me. Uh, I lost five fights and now now I'm start winning again. So I'm very, very, very happy. Is, did the fight play out as you expected? Uh, in, through the broadcast, we could hear her coach is upset with her that she was running backwards. So is this how you thought it would play out? Uh, my game plan was take her down. I did it in first round, but in second round and in third round, I couldn't take her down. Uh, I did a lot of mistakes, but but I win, so I'm very, very happy. But I know on Monday my coach will be very angry at me. <laughs> now I can celebrate, but on Monday, ooh. <laughs> what, 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 specific, what mistakes were you making? Why do you think he'll be upset with you? Uh... Because I didn't take her down, you know, this is the biggest mistake. <laughs> After when they were doing the scorecards and they went in and they had to write on it and then they brought it back out and brought it back in. Did you know what was going on? No, I didn't know what was uh, what's going on. I was sure that I won uh, this fight, but you know, sometimes judges uh, see these things different and I was a little bit scared, but thanks God I won. <laughs> Then you mentioned in your interview that now you love fighting again, so it's making the move to ATT. So what's, what specifically went, is happening there that has brought back your love for competing again? I, I changed everything. I changed my whole life. I left my, my family in Poland, my husband, my dogs, my home. And I moved, I moved to, to ATT. And when I start training there, I don't know what happened. I... I had new energy, uh, these people, Coach Barumpa, Coach, uh, Coach Anderson. Uh, I love training there. Yeah, whole team, everybody there are so nice and uh, train with these people is, is a great feeling. And finally, uh, what would you like next year to look like for you? How, how many times would you like to fight and is there any names you would like next? Uh, I don't choose my opponents. Uh, if you have seen, uh, tell me you must fight with that, this girl or this girl. Okay, no problem. Uh, in next year, maybe I want to fight for uh, three times. You will see. Carolina Alverti, right? Congratulations on the victory. Um, for a long time, the narrative about you was a technical, high volume striker, but in back to back fights, it's been, you know, ground game focused. Do uh, you think you're making a statement with your ground game? Uh, once again, you think you're making a statement, a statement? With your, uh, proving proving people wrong about your ground game, maybe? Yeah, I I work a lot of with my coach Parumpa. We do a lot of uh, grappling and my grappling is better and better and better. In the first round, it seemed like the referee kept uh, saying something to her. Looks like maybe she was grabbing the inside of you. Yeah, yes, yes. She she grabbed my my gloves. Yeah. Congratulations. Carolina, to the back. Hey, congratulations on the win and welcome back to New York. Uh, you fought three times here. Uh, the last time you were here, uh, 2018 with a win. Uh, what makes this win so special and coming back to uh, New York City and Madison Square Garden? Uh, I love this city. I don't know why, but the city is, is magical. Uh, and Madison Square Garden, wow, this place is, is amazing. Uh, this place has great history and fight here is is a really big honor and i'm very very happy that i can fight here second time and this time i won <laughs> and new york city loves you too so congratulations on win thank you